Okay, this is the continuing system for the XP15000. Um, has six cartridges and you need a small screwdriver and when you open the bottle, first you break here, then there's another piece of seal paper and you remove it. Feel the tank like this. Squeeze the bottle gently. So screwdriver remove the seal, open the seal, and also from the cap remove the the piece of paper. Go to here. That's the second chamber of the system. Okay, now we're gonna do the yellow. Before you do the priming, uh, make sure the orange cap is closed the cartridge properly. And you don't want the ink leaking from here. And remove the, the rubber plug and use the syringe, connect to here. And have the sponge side um, on the top and then you can pull in the air out. The same time you're pulling the ink from the reservoir. Okay, let's do it again. And now you can have the cartridge like this. So the ink will from bottom go to the top. Okay, you have uh, give a little bit of space here. It's okay. Then close the cartridge with the rubber plug. Okay, this are gonna one more time. Make sure the orange cap is closed properly here. You don't want ink leaking from here when you prime it. So remove the plug on the top and use the syringe. Connect to the air hole here. And then you're pulling the air out of the cartridge. Basically, you're pulling the ink from the reservoir. So have the sponge side on the top. So you can feel the this chamber first. And there's no air. And then you have the cartridge like this. Keep pulling air out. And leave a little bit of space on the top, that's okay. Basically, you don't want to feel 100% full. You always put more ink into the reservoir after you prime the system, like this. Okay, after we prime and purge the cartridges, and uh, we can close the reservoir with the rubber plugs. Make sure you, if you want to install the system uh, after the priming, you don't want to close the air vents, only the feeding hole. So, after you install the system, always leave the air vents open. Air filter is optional for the X Pro series, not necessary, it's really optional. You can just leave the air vents open and close the cover like this. 
uh, but if you want, if you don't want to install the system right away, and you can close it. The one on the left. That's the air lens. Okay. Just remember when you install it, or just right after you install the cartridge system into the printer, open the air vents. Just leave them unplugged and close the cover. All right, this is the how to prime and purge the system. You can always find more inkjet product from our website, inkxpro.com. Uh, hey guys, welcome back from the knowledge base. And you can find the installation menu, how tos, and thank you for watching.